Hey, what's going on, brother Kamama Har here? Back at it again. First things first, we give all praise to the Father and the Son, Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah, Bashim Rakak Wadash. Uh, double honors to the apostles and elders that I learned is, uh, the truth from. Blessings to the Akim out there preaching his word with whole heart, truth, sincerity. And um, blessings to the 144,000 and the one third, first fruits, kingdom of heaven, house of David, the Biaf Dawada, and the dead and Yahweh Shah shall rise first. And uh, What's going on is confusion of faces, speaking different tongues, looking different nations. Shalom. What's going on, brothers? Um, today, I want to get on some, um, I want to get into the scriptures regarding, um, you know, ICBM missiles that's going to destroy Babylon the Great, which the scriptures refer to them in um, a lot of symbolic words like um, archers, arrows, um, in that nature, or you even got, um, it talks about, um, when, uh, I also brought this up before and bring it out again. When it talks about um, countries will come together, considered as uh, fanners, which they were fan Babylon the Great with a destroying wind. I like that, I like that symbolicness in the Bible how that goes, where it uses like a you know basically wind as fans, but the fans would be actually um, the ICBM missiles, uh, uh, nuclear warheads, and then the actual fanners of the other countries. That's producing the fans. Uh, it's incredible scriptures. I'm gonna get into it. Um, first, I want to get in with uh, Judges first. Um, kind of like in order. I'm in the spirit. I'm just kind of just going into it. I'm um, not really in order, but uh, I'm gonna say Judges five and eleven. Kind of sticking with me now. Let's go down. Go down. Five and eleven. It says, um, "They that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing water." Um, delivered would be obviously the Israelites, so-called Negro Latino Native Indians, um, will be delivered, you know, because that that would be um, the elect would be to have a good, the salvation through the chariots, um, where so-called UFOs in the Bible. Um, and it says, from the noise of the archers, with the archers would be the countries like Russia, you know what I mean? So also called Medes in the, in the Bible, Gog and Magog, you know, uh, Turkey, China, um, you know, Iran, all those different countries are going to come together. Um, and shoot uh, nuclear, especially Russia. They're going to shoot um, nuclear warheads, which is considered in the Bible called archers. Or the, the what the noise would be with the with the um, the missiles would produce is that great noise, a great explosion. And then the archers are the are the actual um, countries shooting the actual missiles um, at Babylon the Great, so called United States. Preferably, you know, taking care of Esau, Edom, which Edom means red. Uh, with Esau as a so-called white man, absolutely, and um, they're the wicked. They definitely the wicked, um, and they've been doing this dirty for crazy. You know the Israel Israelites, so-called Negro Latino Native Indians. You know murder, stealing, captivities. It says thou shalt um, the uh, the um, um, gayness, Sodom, Sodom like behavior. You know what I mean? Be like what was it? What did the scripture say? Where it says um. Um, any man get found with a man that's that's been stolen, be put to death as well, red handily. And thir Revelation thirteen, with ten, lead, those that lead to captivity shall go into captivity and kill by the sword, would die by the sword as well, be killed with the sword. All of it's going down, and it all and be all. At the end of the day, will be destruction of Babylon the Great, which is this kingdom, and our kingdom is next, um, as far as the kingdom of heaven with Jacob. Jacob is the beginning that follows. But in this case scenario, we went to 5 and 11. It says, uh, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts to his Israelites of the Lord Yahweh, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord Yahweh go down into the gates. Now, my point was, was getting into the fact that my video was on the fact that these ICBM missiles and this destruction of great noise is the ICBM missiles, which are an inter-ballistic continental, you know, ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles, which are nuclear warheads that will be shot and be um, and will destroy America in one hour. And so it's going to be um, one hour, and and those missiles are going to destroy Babylon for all all eternity because it's never going to be inhabited ever again. It's going to be desolation and zero like <laughs> it's going to be desert like in America where it says the fowls of the earth is going to pretty much and like vultures and different things of that nature, like lizards. And it's going to be inhabited ever again. So 
that's what that is or whatever. I want to get on that one. And so those archers are the actual countries that's going to be able to shoot those missiles because it's not really bow and arrows. The Bible was very symbolic. So it's really the arrows is actually to, in the modern day sword and um, will be the nuclear warheads that are, that are destroy uh, America. Um, I think the other precept I had was uh, Jeremiah. Now, Jeremiah is a Jeremiah, and also, also I want to go with Jeremiah 51. Jeremiah 51 hits a lot of things um, when it comes to scriptures and getting different um, different topics, Jeremiah go hard. Like it really, Jeremiah 51 speaks some some damage. Um, I believe Jeremiah even one through three, I believe. Right. So, okay. So here's a good point of my, here's a, here's where the scripture where it really hit the, hit the, hit the hammer on the nose. It says, uh, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Now, that destroying wind will be the, the nuclear explosion blowing. You know how it creates a mushroom crowd and then it, it, it got that crazy wind that just goes and, and just destroys everything in its path. That's a destroying wind that it's talking about. And and will send up unto Babylon, United States, fanners. Now, it said will send unto Babylon, which is the United States, the whore, which is the new a uh, new Babylon now, fanners, which those fanners are other countries that's going to be is going to be taken taken to contributing of nuclear warheads is going to be shooting because they're the fanners, and that shall fan her, which her is Babylon itself, and fan her and shall empty her land, for in the day of trouble they shall be against her round about. See, that's, just, that's, that's what it says. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her roundabout. That's talking about all those different countries that's going to take a hand and shooting missiles at America. And it says they're called fanners and they shall fan her and shall empty her land. What technology and what kind of weapon nowadays can actually empty an entire land? Only a nuclear warhead can do that. For in a day of trouble, they shall, they would be the other countries, shall be against her round about. It's like basically getting rolled on. <laughs> That's basically what it is. And three, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend. There it is, archers, and his bow. And against him that lifteth, lift, lifteth himself up in his uh, brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts. Which is talking about Babylon, hers, the, the hosts. And pretty much all her young men, all the two-thirds heathen nations, Esau, Edom, you know what I mean, on down is the young men. It's talking about destroying the entire thing because it got to go. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans and they, they that are thrust through in her streets. So it's going down. This particular destruction of um, Babylon is going to be going, going down. I had a, um, you know what? Just to piggyback off of that one, I think I believe I had, um, uh, cause I know the scripture was talking about, um, you know, I can kind of get back into it in the spirit. Um, I was, uh, I was meditating on, I, I made, I made a video on the hour. I, I, I pretty much knew that one. I knew those greatly, but it kind of slipped my mind for a second. Um, let me see, uh. I'm not gonna take too much time or whatever, cause my whole point was the um, structure. Yeah, you know what? Aha, I found it. So now that we know that particular, this is gonna be destroyed by archer, cause it's the archers, is the is, is the is the countries, and the pretty much the arrows is the actual missiles itself that's gonna destroy. But I love Jeremiah how it's symbolic about fan and fanners, and cause you you know if if this if the Holy Spirit ain't dealing with you to recock with dash. If it's not dealing with you, you know, obviously somebody like, especially Esau, read this. They're going to, you know, there's stupidity out here. It really is where it will be, you know, um, uh, uh, a, uh, and when sin upon Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. Now, common sense will start talking about a weapon. You can probably see that. But then again, I'm telling you, when I start talking about against them that been a, let the archer bend and bow. I'm telling you, simple-minded people will, and when the Holy Spirit not dealing with them, they will think of bow and arrows for sure. And then it's not using your brain sometimes even the way, because what kind of bow and arrow is going to destroy and empty a land? But these scriptures are sealed. 
It's only for the elect, Lord willing, one of those men. But I have the understanding. I understand what it's saying. I've been taught very well. And I understand and believe everything in the scriptures. And I can see that it's actually, you know, talking about fanners as countries and being fanner and shall empty her land is obviously an extraordinary, extraordinary explosive weapon. Especially 51 to 1 when it talks about a destroying wind. Come on, man. You know what I mean? All praise to the most I call Allah Yahan Bashim Yahushai for allowing me to understand this and be able to talk and be able to have the open mind and be able to bring this in and bring this out and break it down like that. So, um, but I, I do want to get into, what was that? Uh, I believe it's uh, Revelations. Yeah, it is. Revelations. Just to, just to piggyback off of that in the spirit, Revelations 18 is big too. It's really big. Um, 18, I believe, 8, 7, 8, and 9, I believe. Um, it says, um, uh, let me see. So it says, I can start at 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and shall be utterly burned with fire. Hmm. For strong is the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh thy power who judges her. Babylon the Great. That's, that's that her again. Remember that her is the whore. Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, which is the Babylon was once before, and this is the daughter of the this the new Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, which is a smutty buddy whore. It's crazy as was going on. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. That's when those missiles coming down with those fanners that shoot the that fan her and make her and make her and make her land empty. And only one weapon can do that. It's called an ICBM missiles or a short hydrogen bomb, atomic bomb, nuclear warhead, however you want to put it. And it says, and it says, standing afar off for her fear of her torment, saying, At last, at last, the great city Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. See, there it goes. It's gonna be it's gonna be real short time. Now I got the scriptures like uh, was Zephaniah and Psalm seventy three where it says a little moment. Also um, Isaiah twenty six and twenty talks about uh, you know the ignition will overpass in the moment. It'll be a little moment. Things of that nature. It's gonna happen really quickly, really quickly. And um, I believe um, my last scripture what was it Jeremiah. Um, Jeremiah, Judges, and um, Salakia. I had that. I was in there. Um, uh, what was that? It was. I just had that. Uh, um, believe it could be eighteen. Ah, uh, I, I had that one. Let's talk about the address. Could be Zechariah. I believe Zechariah was another one. Um, Zechariah. Salakia, Salakia. I had this all, all mapped out. Was, um, you know what? Salakia. My brain, my, the Holy Spirit got me back on one track. Malachi 4 and 1. I knew. I just, it just popped right back in my brain. Sometimes, you know, we get through. Uh, okay, Malachi 4 and 1. It says... Um, let me see. Uh, uh, right. For behold, a day come of that shall burn as an oven and all the proud. Yeah. And all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that come of shall burn them up, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Wow. See, that's just um, that's just crazy because. The day come of that 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 shall burn as an oven. What? Listen, man, it's a lot of it's a lot of heat going on, and a lot of, you know, a lot of a lot of talking about burning up like crazy. Which we do know the second death is by fire. It all the scriptures just makes makes sense, and it actually does its thing. It always does come about itself, where it's definitely going to. Um, where it's definitely going to, you know, show itself where it's going to always be true. Because when it's in the scriptures, it's definitely it's going to come to pass. The most high, most high's world words are never void and it will always come to pass. And so it's all about the faith. 
um, and Yahweh Bashem Yahushah that this is going to happen and we believe, especially me, because I'm vexed out here when it comes to Babylon the Great. I'm tired of being down here. I understand now, you know, when you come into this truth and you not when you not in this when you uh, when you in, when you in this truth, you understand that this is our captivity. So we're not really out here to make it out here and to be, you know, rich and trying to make it out of here. We're vexed right now and we're at the lowest state. So we need this word and we need to, we need we need, to, we need the uh salvation of Yahweh Shah, man. You know what I mean? Through the power of Yahweh in order to get our salvation. Because through Yahweh Shah, we can get to that, we can get to, the, get to the Heavenly Father. So that's just how that is. And you know what? Just to prove that, um, what's that? John. Just a little quick, just a little quick, um, you know what I mean? That, 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 that through through get to get to the Heavenly Father is Yahweh Shah. So I'm gonna go to John uh 14, and I believe it might be even two. It says, um, um, right, you know what? I'm even go to, uh, you know what? We can get to the point. I'm going to go to um, 6, uh, John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shah saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh, cometh unto the Father, Yahweh, but by me. So if it's not... Through Yahweh Shah, there will be no getting to the Heavenly Father. It got to be through Yahweh Shah as the mediator in order, in order to get to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. Straight like that. Babylon the Great got to be destroyed. You know what? In, in the spirit too, I got this little clip of explosions of how, how it's going to particularly be a concept of how Babylon the Great, so-called America, will be destroyed. Um, it's like a little countdown of all these particular... Um, all these particular uh, explosions, though, of nuclear war. It's the top ten terrifying nuclear bombs. But I just want to, you know, show this in the, in the in the spirit of how, you know, which is very very exciting. It's it's crazy how we 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 pray for the downfall of something like this, but it is what it is. This is, needs to happen, and Lord willing, I'm saved through the through the chariots in order to um, not go through this. And I'm gonna get that scripture regarding what I mean by that in a second more than cause a lot of damage. Buried over 600 feet below the earth and exploded on July 6, 1962, the bomb removed 11 million tons of dirt and created the biggest man-made crater in the country. For perspective, it's visible from outer space. The bomb caused the greatest radionuclide activity our atmosphere had ever experienced and contaminated more American civilians with radiation than any other nuclear test in history. Its failure ultimately helped spur the development of the 1963 Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. Number 5. Starfish Prime – Operation Fishbowl It was in the midst of the Cold War that, despite a moratorium on atmospheric tests of nuclear weapons, the Soviet Union and the United States resumed the testing of nuclear weapons. On July 9, 1962, the American military detonated a nuclear warhead some 250 miles over the ground as part of their Operation Fishbowl. Although scientists had expected an electromagnetic pulse, or EMP, after the explosion, the sheer power of the ensuing EMP was shocking. One third of all active satellites were damaged by the pulse, and about 900 miles away in Hawaii, hundreds of streetlights, telephones, alarms, and radios blew causing outages and blackouts. Number four, shrimp, Castle Bravo. Set off on March 1st, 1954, this lithium deuteride fuel. Oh, that's Satan right there. Hydrogen bomb exceeded the military's expectations and ended up becoming the most powerful thermonuclear weapon ever dropped by the United States. To give you an idea of just how destructive... Yeah, you see that. See this explosion is dropped by the United States where, you know what I mean, he that leave to captivity shall go into captivity, and he that killeth with the sword shall die with the sword. That's the spirit right there. So you, now you see the explosion that was dropped by the United States. Well, now it's going to be nuclear... The shrimp was. Its blast was about... Dropped on the, on the United States because that's was, that's written. He that killeth with the sword shall die with the sword. And you might we did the Hiroshima thing or whatever, so it gotta be gotta be right back on your head. 
1,000 times more powerful than the atomic bombs used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during the Second World War. Although a significant radioactive fallout was expected, due to an error made by designers, the yield of 15 megatons of TNT... See, now that right there is a beautiful sight. That's how it's going to look. I don't know how many missiles going to be hit over here, but it's going to be more than two or three. And it's going to take about three or four, maybe five of them to destroy the entire country. Because one nuclear warhead cannot destroy the entire United States. It can destroy a city, but it can't destroy the entire country. So that goes to show that, is, that when the scripture says to get fanners in uh, Jeremiah 51... It says you get fanners to fan her and make her an empty land. It's going to take multiple countries and multiple missiles at one time to destroy the entire United States. It's the only way it can work. But it's going to be a bunch of this right here all throughout the country, which is amazing. Now, in the spirit, you know, us, uh, us prophets and servants and doing the work, we, we make these videos to, to preach to the lost sheep. But also in the spirit, I'm going to show you in the scriptures because um, people might say, well, you're going to die too. Well, Lord willing, I, I'm not. Lord willing, I want those men to be saved in the chariots. This is what I mean. If I go into the scriptures, um, go into the scriptures, we go to um, Isaiah. I never made it this way before. Isaiah 26 and 20. And it says... Come, come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, which is so-called uh, UFOs, that so-called, they're chariots, they're chariots of Israel, uh, so-called UFOs. Shut thy doors about thee and hide thyself, as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. Now, where are you hiding thyself from? This is what you're hiding your thyself from. You're hiding thyself from this. That I'm showing you now much higher than the expect is what we're hiding thyself from because once these missiles come down the elect will be beamed up in chariots and as these simultaneously as these missiles being shot down it's going to be a bunch of this but we're not going to Lord willing I'm one of those men the elect will not be on the ground suffering this explosion we will be out of the way in thy chambers with the most high and the angels protecting us and the chariots and hiding ourselves while this is going down. So that's what the scriptures say. We have faith and belief that, you know, we keep doing this work. Lord willing, we one of those men to be saved and have a changed body in the kingdom of heaven right afterwards. Back to the scriptures now. That is hide thyself, what you're hiding thyself from. All right. And then it says, and it says, come in thy chambers, shut thy doors. Doors of what? It's symbolic, but it's also the same thing. Go into the beamed up into the chariots and the doors are shut and we'll hide ourselves from that particular destruction as it for a little moment. Because the scripture says in, in uh, Revelation 18 that it's going to be destroyed in one hour. It's going to be really quickly. And that's in the hour of destruction is very fast. So that's why it says as it was for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed with the indignation. Is pretty much um, the most high, uh, the most high destroying us for ignition is all the evil and the, and the effery that's going down. So I want to definitely, um, you know, put that out there. Hope that was edifying. Uh, we almost out of here, brothers. Hebrew Israelites, so called Negro and Latino Native Indians, and um, you know what I mean. We got to keep enduring, keep praying. You can get the fast, go ahead and fast. Um, I need to do more of that as well. The day of Tom was very interesting. I, I got to be able to do that, and it's truth. Now, that's pretty much my first one that I'm in his truth, so I'm really grateful and honored that I'm able to um, be in his truth and be able to satisfy that. I feel really good about that one as well. All praise to the Most High. And so I want to give all praise to the Father, Yahweh. He is to be, exists by Hashem in the name, the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior. He delivers. Um, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem in the name, and the Holy Spirit, Rakak Kodash. Mm -hmm. Double honors and double honors to, uh, to apostles and elders I learned his truth from. And blessings to the Akim out there preaching his word with whole heart troops sincerity. And blessings to 144,000 and one third. First fruits, kingdom of heaven. House of David, the Biaf da and the dead in Yahweh Shah shall rise first. Uh, first Thessalonians 4. And what's going on is confusion, confusion of faces that scattered amongst abroad, speaking different tongues, looking different nations. Shalom.